Let's look carefully at how the doorbell works. When the switch is open, no current can flow in the circuit and no electromagnet is formed. Pushing the button closes the switch. Now current can flow thanks to the presence of a battery or power supply. Let's pause the action and carefully trace the path of current flow when the switch is closed. The circuit is only complete when the hammer is touching the circuit here. The current passes through both coils of wire. The wires are very densely coiled. A magnetizable substance in the center of the coil can amplify the magnetic field. The electromagnet pulls on the hammer. This breaks the circuit at the main point of contact. Since the current no longer flows, the magnetic field disappears immediately. But the hammer still flies to the bell and strikes it, making a sound. The initial pull was enough to set the hammer in motion. Since the electromagnet is off, it is easy for the spring to pull the hammer back to its original position. At this point, the current begins to flow again, and the magnetic field returns. The whole process repeats. This happens over and over, causing a ringing sound. The graph here shows how the strength of the magnetic field depends on the current in the wire, the material in the core, and the number of loops of wire that form the electromagnet. It is pretty easy to make an electromagnet. All you need is a loop of wire and a battery. Now you know how a doorbell works.